Hey there, this is Scrapping Like a Lady, and I got some goodies in the mail from my Amazon friend. They just love me, that Amazon. So, let's see. I'll show you guys what I got here. Oh, I know what the heck this is. All right. This girl is serious about her diamond arts. Is there anyone out there not obsessed? Like I am, like, I tell people all the time, you gotta do diamond arts, you gotta do diamond arts, and then they're just like, yeah, become obsessed. Probably not as much as me. Um, so anyways, let's see. I ordered one of these huge trays. Um, dear customer, thank you for your order to the company, da 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 So, I will show you guys, oh, come on. Well, actually, I should be grateful that they bubble wrapped it like this because you guys saw, I showed you what happened to my other tray and then my son heated it up, tried to lay it flat and uh, it was a hot mess. So this tray is completely flat. Yeah, comes with a little spoon so I can scoop up some of my diamond dots and pour it in there. But no, nah, this big tray, look how big this guy is. Mm-hmm, I wanna psh because this uh, one that I'm working on, these lips, they gave me, let me show you this. This is real. Look how many 310s I got. And this is the very, very large ones. And I took half of these ones out of here, but like, yeah, it's completely filled. So, this isn't the little ones. These are the large ones. It's just sickening. I was like, uh, yeah. So I want to be able to pour a bunch in there. Da, 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 and I have to reload my tray up because I'm a lazy crafter. Mm -hmm. I am. I'm like, oh, I don't want to do all of that. So there, that's that. Put that over there. I don't know what this is. Sometimes we shouldn't open these things on camera. <laughs> Who knows? It might be some uh, women pleasurable stuff or something. Okay, let's see. Okay, so I got more of these trays. Now, I saw... I only have one large orange uh, one like this. So, I was like... What kind of theme only has one of something? Not me. Not going to touch me that way. So. I got a bunch of these. Ooh, I'm making all kind of noise, aren't I? Okay, so I think this is 10. 2, 4, 6. Nope. 2, 4, 6. I got 12. So yeah, I don't wanna, I don't wanna be caught without my trays. But um, I saw where some people have um, the stations that your trays can go into. And like the um, drills that I frequent often, like 310 and 3371, some of the drills that are just dang there in every diamond art piece, I will have those, um, those trays numbered and then I can just select them as opposed to having to because sometimes you miss a drill or two you know but sometimes I just I just like convenience that's just the bottom line I just like things to be convenient and if it's not and I, and I don't like to get frustrated while doing something who wants to do something they love doing only to be frustrated while doing it mm -mm, not about that life so um I don't know if I'm going to order one of those stations. Let me let me stop playing. Y'all know I'm going to order one of those stations. Because <laughs> I'm just not going to have these things just laying about, right? So, uh, yeah, I'm going to order one of those stations. Let me just go on and say it. Um, and then I could just house these inside of that. But the problem I have is that the little setup I have, because I've been primarily diamond dotting right here in this little area. And um, 
my husband is so sweet because here I am. I can make a mess by setting this up. If he would have did this, <laughs> let him do this. I would have lost my mind. I would have been like, oh no, brother, you getting your butt up out of here. It's bad enough he got that desk looking like that. I sure the heck would not have let him put a chair and little uh, table and all this stuff right there. But he's so sweet. You know, men, they're, they're like bachelors. They're just like anything goes, you know, so... Um, anything but keeping him up at night and putting that desk in that room. Remember, he gave me a little bit of hell over that, but that's not here nor there. That's over with. I'm back home now. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go out shopping um, because we are in Texas and we have been cooped up in our house for a week. Yeah, I came home. I had to go Botox a client up on Saturday and yeah, I just have not left the house since then. Um, I saw that horrific accident, you know, and well, I didn't see it. I saw it on the YouTube news. I turned and saw it there, but, um, and I was like, no, I I'm not gonna risk my life. You know, Pam was like, Lisa, let's just, um, you know, play it by ear and, you know, just drive slow. And I was like, uh-uh. I ain't driving at all. I'm not getting out there getting killed, trying to make somebody beautiful. And then I'm shriveling up in the ground. Mm -mm, we ain't doing all of that. So we canceled the week and here it is a beautiful day. My husband is out there short sleeves right now, putting in a stereo system in my son's car. And um, I'm about to go, well, I'm going to the dump because my, um, my laser machine is not going to work. So I'm just going to take that thing and take it to the dump. Yeah, thousands and thousands of dollars down the drain. But heck, I'm not going to get frustrated trying to get that thing to work. And usually my husband can fix anything, but it'll take him too long. So I just rather order another one. Yeah, because him and I will get to arguing and fussing and cussing here in a minute. So we don't want none of that. So it's just best to order another one and uh, let it alone. But I am gonna go to Michael's. Um, I might go to Joanne's. Michael said, well, my Michael's has been really sorry. Um, I've got two of them, um, not far, you know, from each other. But as far as their diamond dots and stuff like that, they are so sorry. Now, Hobby Lobby, which is close today because the day is Sunday, but um, Hobby Lobby has a like a half of, a, well, I'd say a, a third of an aisle um, and it's filled with diamond dots, but um, they're closed today. So we can't go over there. Not that I need any more. I've got a couple of, well, I've got more than a couple. I've got a few orders ordered. And so um, I should be getting those in and I will do a video um, and those unboxings when I get that in. But yeah. I just wanted to show you guys this. I just think this thing right here is just the best thing right here. Oh my good Lord. Just want to rub your face on it. Like, ooh, Jesus. Mm. You guys see, I'm going to the dump. I got my flannel on. This is my country girl wannabe look. Mm. Anyways, um, I want to give one shout out to a girlfriend of mine. Um, she came to my house and bought a buttload of food. She went to Hutchinson's, Hutchinson's which is a wonderful uh, barbecue restaurant here. And she got, I mean, just $100 worth of food for us. And she went and got milk and eggs from her farm slash ranch. Um, and she just bought all that stuff over there. So I just wanna say Karen and Emmett Faircloth, if you listen to this, if you ever listen to this, I absolutely love, love, love you guys and totally appreciate you doing that for us, you know, um, and they drive far, like, I don't know, it's like maybe two hours away from here, hour and a half, two hours away, and she called me and she's like, do you guys need anything? And I was like, no, we're fine, and then she's like, we're around the corner from your house. I'm like, what? 
and um, so they came and bought all of that stuff. Though that those are good friends, you know. She was like, I didn't believe you when you said you didn't need anything. And girl, she was she know me because I had no more eggs, no milk. I was like, thank you, Jesus. Yes. Yeah, so, um, Miss Faircloth, Mister Faircloth, thank you and God bless you guys. So, anyways, this is scrapping like a lady, and I'm out. Deuces. Hey guys. This is Scrapping Like a Lady, and I've got some goodies in the mail today, and I want to show them to you guys. I also went to Hobby Lobby, and I picked up a couple of kits, um, the Norman Rockwell ones. I also want to talk about, what is it? Kidding up? Un unkidding? I can kid up, and it doesn't bother me that much, but unkidding... I, I just throw my drills away, but I thought I'd give my hand to unkitting or kitting down, however you want to say it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. It is so not fun. It's just not fun. Um, I did, I got these baguettes right here. Actually, I had these baguettes up in my scrapbooking room and they're really good you can't do that um, test where they go like this and they open up because they're really thick um, so they're real durable and I thought wow this is gonna be great you actually have to use two hands and give a little woman power there to open them up um, they're pretty long these are you get 200 in here they're three and a half um, yeah it, it looks like this and they come from Michaels. Um, I have some bigger ones as well. So I was like, I got these tray, this tray, I have several of them and I was like, okay, just give it a try, you know? I did, I said, okay, do the ones that are, um, the ones that you know that you've been using a lot of, you know, again, 3371, 310, 3608, you know, like that. Um, because when I did the um, the Beast, I had quite a few left over. So I thought, all right, Lisa, don't throw them away. You know, one of these days you might do something um, and you might need those. I don't know why, but you might. So I did, I think about 15 baggies. And by the end of my doing these, let me show you guys. This many baggies, I was already done. I was spent. I was like, okay, I've got to take the stickers off of the old containers. I've got to open them up, put them in these baggies. Then I've got to number these baggies with a new label because you can't get those sticky um, stickers off once you put them on that acrylic um, um, containers. So I threw all the rest of them in this bag right here. I was like, I'm done. I'm not doing all of that. So I'm working on a, um, they're the lips I showed you guys. Um, Dime, it's not a diamond art, it's just a diamond painting. And they gave me a whole lot of 310s. And that's another thing. I don't want to put um, drills that belong to another painting or another company in with my diamond art drills. I don't know if the quality is the same. Um, I'm, I might be being petty, but I, I just don't know if I want to do that. So... I'm gonna try it, but I'm, I'm probably not gonna be able to do it. I probably just will throw my drills out or put them in a big old jar and call it a day. And then one day do maybe some type of, um, I guess diamond art piece that has a lot of confetti or something like that, or something I come up with all, you know, on a blank canvas or something like that. But as of right now, 
I am, I, I feel bad because you don't want to just throw something away, especially something you value. We do value the drills, you know, don't have enough drills when you're doing something. You'd be like, oh, because you need those drills. But I just can't see myself, you know, pouring those drills into these bags and making more bags and all of that kind of stuff like that. I am a lazy crafter. So that's that. So that's all I'm going to say on that. To the people that do them, and I watch them, and they're, you know, pouring those drills. And I'm like, ooh, she got more energy than me, or she love her drills more than I do, or something's going on. I'm just not feeling it. But um, I don't, I don't know. So I did get a couple of boxes in, so I'm going to show you guys those. Now, I'm going to attach a video from yesterday that I was going to upload, but it, it, yeah, I, I was like, it's not long enough. Let me attach it to another video. And I said I was going to go shopping. I left out of the development and I'm going to tell this to you twice because I have two little parts and it, it says the same thing. I left out of the development. I went to the dump to dump something off which is literally up down the street from us. And I, all of a sudden I was like, I don't want to get out. I don't want to get out because I know that here in Texas, we have been locked up for a week and everybody and their mama is going to want to get out of the house. And Rona is still out there. And I was like, no. I don't I don't want to do that. I, I just didn't feel like shopping, so I came home and shopped online. Still got my shop on, but I just did a virtual shop. Um, so let me show you guys this. I'm going to take you down, okay? Come on with me. Come on. Come on. Come a little closer. I'm going to go down. Now, I think I need to turn. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that, y'all. I think I need to turn the light on over here. Let me turn these lights on. No, why didn't this one turn on? There you go, there you go. Is that better? Probably didn't make a dang bit of difference, huh? Anyways, let's see. Now, I say I'm gonna upload that other video, but I might not attach it to this one, but. I don't want you, see, you guys to see my address just in case. I got to stop watching those true crimes because um, this is stuff I got from Etsy. Yes, I got it from the same buyer. Oh, oh, those are so cute. You guys got to see those. Ooh, turn it around. Yeah, I got this from the same buyer, so they have my address on numerous ones. Okay, so not my sleeve, not my sleeve. Oh, Lord. Lordy, Lordy, those are so cute, and I can see those already. All right, so I got one of those pins that have the light on it because I just wanted to see if it makes a difference even though my light boards are just wonderful this is a multi-placer looks like it gives like two drills I don't know on that oh I probably have to put a battery in there I'm sure yeah it screws off like this yeah that's gonna take some AAA batteries down there looks maybe about two of them so I'm gonna try this and see if I like it yeah, again from Etsy, just a couple of bucks, you know, who knows. Just pennies on the dollar. And then, okay guys, I got something whimsical. I did, oh, I don't know if I selected this, but apparently I did. Looks like that. Now, why would I, why would I buy this? Let's see what this is doing. Oh, is that a square? Oh, it's cause it's a square one. 
Okay, yeah, I wanted to try a square. They must just randomly pick stuff because y'all know I would not have picked something whimsical. I would not have. She's cute though, but not Lisa cute, but I'm gonna use it because it's a square and I don't have any square pins. Now, what the heck is this thing? You guys know by the time y'all get y'all stuff, it's like your kids have grown up and gone to college. Oh, <laughs> it's a double. Look it, you put two drills in there. Let's see how difficult this sucker is going to be. All right, oh, it's cute because it sits up like that too. Mm, mm, mm. I like that. Oh, kind of adhered a little bit. Oh, it's got a little, oh, is that blue wax down there? Yes, they put blue wax in there. Oh, people, thank you. You're so nice to Miss Lisa. All right, now let's get this junk off the way. Remember I told you guys my house was a mess? It still is a mess. I have just been lazy and I was home all week. I could have cleaned this house, but I sure didn't do it. I diamond painted. So I got some dyes. I got this one right here. I got this one right here. Because I want to make some cards for, for my girlfriend and my mom and everybody. I guess I should make some and show you guys those. All right. I got a lot more stuff coming. It is so fun shopping on AliExpress. If that's just my opinion, but... Um, because by the time you get it, it's like Christmas, you know? You surprise yourself. Sorry about my husband's computer. He is working from home full time now. He's taking a contract. Oh my God. We're going to wind up getting a divorce because um, he, he, oh, the week I was locked in this house with that man, I could have killed him and hung him out on the clothesline if I had a clothesline. Oh, so these are the containers. I got these from um, Harbor Freights. Those organizing containers, 25 piece. Now, <laughs> I don't know if anybody is like me, but you want to buy something and then you look at the shipping and you're like, I don't want to spend the shipping, you know, pay money for the shipping. Oh, it's just right up the road. I can just go and get it. Well, Harbor Freights is in Denton. And if you're not familiar with Texas, Denton is about mm, 25 minutes up the road. Well, to me, $7, $8, whatever it was what for the shipping, it was worth it. I'm like, I don't have to go and catch the Rona and traverse through the store and all of that. Mm -mm, let's just have those people send it. But sometimes I get in a mood where I want it now, like that Ot light. I wanted it right then and there. So I did get off my lazy tail and go on over there to the store and grab that um, that day from Joanne's. So I reckon it's just the way you feel. So I saw these from many different people. Um, and they just look like that. And I wanted to give them a try. They, the, the quality, don't think about it. Uh, it's, it's not there. So if you're buying these for quality, I pity the fool. No, this is not gonna, this is not gonna last very long. But I mean, these guys were a few bucks. So just get yourself a whole bunch of them. And then you gotta worry about whether or not you bought quality or not. That's the way I was thinking about it. Because when I, when you look at the price, you're like, mm -mm, that's not going to be a, a, anything worth having. But um, how long will it last me? I don't know. But um, for that price, and they're a pretty good size container. Um, I don't know what. I don't know. Let's see. Container is a 1 7 8 by 1 7 8 by 1 inch high. So whatever the heck that means, it's big enough to hold my diamond dots, right? 
and you get 25 of those in there. So I have a total of 50 containers, if we can do the math on that right quick. So I'm gonna try them and if I like it, then I'll probably buy four or five more. Yeah. But I do have the Elizabeth Ward set coming as well. And you might ask yourself, how come you need all of that organizing and storage? Maybe I don't need it. I might just want it. And I think what I think what it is is I like to try different things. And then when I find something that works for me, then I will continue to use that thing. Um, I like the uh, jars that I have with the screw tops, you know. I like those, but I want something that isn't so bulky. Like these are very small and compact, you know. So it has the ability to have 50. Now that I'm thinking it through, I actually should have got like four of them. So I'll probably put an order in tonight for two more or four more of them. But um, yeah, that way I can have all the kits in one. I mean, what if you get one that has 48 drills? You know what I mean? So I just want to have it where I just have them all in one system and I'm good to go. Um, and and I have quite a bit. So like if it has 38 in it, I can put maybe, let me open this one. I can put maybe, maybe a 310 if it has three or four packages, I can put like three of them in this, you know, and not have to refill the package. Again, I'm a lazy, lazy crafter. So that's that. Now I want to show you guys I'm gonna show you these uh, Norman Rockwells that I got. I used to love, well, I still do apparently, Norman Rockwell, the, the paintings. And so I wanna get the one with the, uh, the little boy. I hope they have it. Maybe I better go out and look for it actually online. But with the um, little boy bending over, about to get a shot in his butt, I think that is so cute. <laughs> Uh, especially being a nurse, uh, you know, that's just so cute. But I think this is cute too. New and new love. So let's see what it looks like. So this says Diamond Art Kit. Um, does it say whether or not it is a square? More than likely it's a round, but let's just open it up. These were $39.99 and they're 40% off right now. So it was like 23 bucks, 23.99. And if they had more of them, I would have got them all. Okay, let's see. So it's by Diamond Dots. I don't suppose they'll have any ABs in there. Does it not have? Let's see. You know, I don't like the way Diamond Dots canvases feel. Um, after doing Diamond Art Club. I like that felt backing that Diamond Art Club has. I love the fact that it's pliable too. Let me move this out the way. Meaning that you can just bend it any way. You don't have to try to manipulate the canvas. You see how this guy is just doing whatever it wants. It's because it's firmer than, oh boy, my son's back to me. So it is a partial 
And let's see, I don't see that it has any ABs in it. Um, yeah. But it is nice, the quality is there. Don't worry, he won't be vacuuming long. He's a boy. It's not like he's gonna do a good job if you guys can hear that vacuuming up there. Yeah, so I might put some ABs in this. You know, it's not nice unless it has ABs, but um, Norman Rockwell colors are real muted, you know, real soft and things like that. So making it sparkly might actually take away from it. Um, but it's a good size canvas. Um, yeah. And I did read about Norman Rockwell, his life. When I was homeschooling my, my older two kids, um, I read about Norman Rockwell's life, but I don't even remember what I read, but apparently it was fascinating that it's in the recess of my mind because I'm still intrigued with his art. And if I had read something that I didn't like about him, I would not still be feeling him, so. All right. Yeah, I'm surprised they don't have any. Well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but yeah, there's no ABs in this. And, and the colors, like I said, are real, like, browns and greens and... Yeah, there's no ABs in this. And look at me, I'm still looking. No. But, oh well. So that's that one. And the other one I got was the kids playing marbles. Did you guys used to play marbles, bat and ball, jacks, marbles, checkers? Those were the games we played. We didn't know anything about um, anything else. Willie, did you used to play marbles? Oh, yeah. Yeah? I, I, I was telling them marbles, jacks, bat and ball, coloring books. Those were the the toys and things that we had in the games that we played. And even backgammon. I was pretty good at that. But now I don't even remember how to play. Okay, I'm sure there's not going to be any ABs in this one either. Again, I'm telling you, Diamond Art Club has got me spoiled. I love how they give you the inventory list of what you're going to get, the stickers that you can just cut out and put on your containers and, hmm. oh, but look at this. Look at the marbles. Let me bring it up close. Look at the marbles on that. That is so cute. Oh, More instructions. So it looks like this. And it looks like the only thing that is dr drills in this, like their faces are not drills. So it just looks like their hats and their clothing are drills. Everything else is printed. So this is actually, for me, this is gonna be like a snack. This is not gonna take long at all to do. Well, it better come out nice, but I only paid $23 for it, so I guess I can complain. Yeah, there's, there's, oh my God. Maybe he is doing a good job vacuuming. I hope you guys can hear that. He's vacuuming away. Yeah, a bunch of muted colors in there. Can you guys see that? I'm not gonna open it up because you know it's gonna make a bunch of loud noise. And these are rounds. You guys know what these guys look like already. 
sometimes when I'm watching other people's videos, when they get to opening up the drills, I'm like, I don't know what drills look like. You don't have, oh, she opening up that package, dang on it. But um, I, I, I'm looking for the sticker, guys. I know good and well they don't have the sticker. Um, I don't have any of that blue wax, so I'm looking forward to trying that blue wax um, that came with that double pen, um, double drill pen. Um, some people like the blue wax. I can't speak on it because like I just said, I don't have any, but um, if I like it, I'm going to be ordering some of the blue wax. Um, I don't have any Not Your Mother's Mud, Not Your Mama's Mud either. Um, so I, I, I wanna try that too. Also, the vacuum, let me get it. This vacuum that my sister got me for my birthday, I used it yesterday. For the first time, it does have this USB to it, and I just charged it up right on that hot light that I have because it has that USB port there. This thing works so very well. If y'all can hear that. It just sucked those drills right up. I was like, oh my goodness. It On the carpet, on the carpet. So if it did it that good on the carpet, it's gonna do it even a more amazing job right on the wood floor, you know, but um, so I would recommend this. Uh, I think in the video, I was like, I'll let you guys know. I'm letting you know. Get yourself one. This thing works really good. At least mine did. Let me put that out there because somebody might get one and it might be a sucky one. And they'll be like, you recommended it and it sucks. Mine's work very good. All right. Let's put this stuff away. Have you guys been diamond dotting? Are you ready to hear Lisa Life Story Part 5? I told you, by the time I finish telling you guys my life story, you guys are going to be, you're going to be old. I'll be on number 176. You're like, and furthermore, when I was 10. <laughs> so, those are my little purchases. Um, going back to work today was uh, very hellish. Uh, again, we had that storm here, and so um, we had people that we had to cancel last week that wanted to get in first, you know, first thing this week. So I was like triple booked today, and um, <laughs> I had some characters in there. And let's just leave it at that. I had some characters in there, you know. And then I have people who are actually afraid of needles. I had one patient who is petrified of needles. And she told me, she's like, I'm so afraid of needles. Now she comes in for Botox and she hyperventilates when she gets her Botox. Okay, fine. I, I'm just, chit, 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 you know, doing my do. But today she came in and she wanted a procedure uh, with these PDOs, they're threads that I put down um, and I pull the face, the skin up, right? And this lady, and, and I don't sweat, you know? This lady had me sweating. She was acting up so bad. And I just told her, I said, I have never had anybody come to my shop and act like this. And so, <laughs> She was going to get one thread put in on each side. And then she talked herself out of it. And so I said, you know what? Let's just put down one thread for you can see that you are, you know, hyping yourself up and it's not that big of a deal. Well, we put down the other thread and Pam said, come on, look at the difference. Let's just go ahead and put the other thread down on the other side. And I said, no, uh-uh, I don't want to do it. I said, you... <laughs> She's like, okay, let's just wait, you know, let's just see if I'm going to bruise and swell and, you know, what my recovery is going to be. And I was like, yeah, all of that. Let's just see. I'm like, get out of here. But, uh, whoo, Jesus, that was so trying. Something that would usually take me about 10, 15 minutes to do took about 30, 35 minutes to do. I said, oh my goodness. And she said when her kids, 
<laughs> but come on, come back up here. I gotta tell y'all this story. She said when her kids fall down, get hurt, any sign of blood, I mean a scratch, a cut, she said she just just faint, just fall out. Oh, and she said her kids have to pat her and tell her it's okay. <laughs> what kind of parenting did you do you know they're teenagers now you know and they're skateboarding and they'll come in look mom broke my elbow and she just faint i said i'll be that that's useless you can't even call 911 <laughs> and help your own kids because you cutting up anyway she said yeah my kids they said don't even tell mom don't even tell her you know so i just thought that was so funny but she was fanning herself and everything i was like baby it's over the thread is in you know you can leave and she was like okay oh, okay i was like oh this is just too much for miss lisa today so pam is so funny pam kept looking at me like is she going to be okay? I was like, at first I was going to tell her, maybe you need to just stay in the facility for we can make sure you're okay and everything. Her hands were shaking, her knees were shaking. And um, I was going to say, you could just stay in the facility, you know, for, you know, 15, 30 minutes to make sure you recover okay and you're fine. I didn't care. I was like, ma'am, show her the door. Show her the door. So I said to her, I says, I don't even sweat and you making me sweat. So... I couldn't imagine that, but I just thought I'd tell you guys that cute little story. So anyways, this is Scrapping Like a Lady, and I'm out.